The issue of global warming, its possible effects, and related human-environment interaction have entered popular culture since the late 20th century. Science historian Naomi Oreskes has noted, "...there's a huge disconnect between what professional scientists have studied and learned in the last 30 years, and what is out there in the popular culture." An academic study contrasts the relatively rapid acceptance of ozone depletion as reflected in popular culture with the much slower acceptance of the scientific consensus on global warming. Film Soylent Green film directed by Richard Fleischer and starring Charlton Heston. Set in a dystopian future of dying oceans and year-round humidity due to the greenhouse effect, resulting in suffering from pollution, poverty, overpopulation and depleted resources. Blade Runner 1982, film directed by Ridley Scott and starring Harrison Ford and Rutger Hauer, is set in a humid rainy climate changed Los Angeles, based loosely on the novel Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Split Second, 1992 film starring Rutger Hauer and Kim Cattrall is set in 2008, in a London that is flooded as a result of global warming. Waterworld 1995, starring Kevin Costner. Set in a future world, where the polar ice caps have melted due to global warming and the Earth is almost entirely covered with water. The Arrival 1996, starring Charlie Sheen. Extraterrestrial aliens attempt to secretly cause global warming and thereby terraform Earth into an environment more suited to their needs. AI Artificial Intelligence 2001, set in climate-changed world near flooded ruins of New York City, where global warming has led to ecological disasters all over the world in the mid-22nd century. The Day After Tomorrow 2004, starring Dennis Quaid. An abrupt shutdown of thermohaline circulation causes catastrophic climate change, plunging the Earth into a new ice age. The Eleventh Hour 2007, created, produced and narrated by Leonardo DiCaprio. The Age of Stupid 2009, drama documentary animation hybrid starring Pete Postlethwaite as a man living alone in the devastated world of 2055, watching archive footage from 2008 and asking. Why didn't we stop climate change when we had the chance? Earth 2100 2009, predictions of possible attempts at adaptation to and mitigation of the effects of continuing global warming Carbon Nation, a 2010 documentary film. Chasing Ice, a 2012 documentary film. Thin Ice, a 2013 documentary film. The Expedition to the End of the World 2013, director, Daniel Denchik, relating to the Greenland ice sheet and the retreat of glaciers since 1850 Snowpiercer is a 2014 fictional film regarding problematic climate engineering attempt Climate Change Denial Disorder is a satirical short film which parodies climate change denial and perspectives on climate change through discussion of a fictional disease. Topic Literature Topic Non fiction This refers to the classification non fiction, without regard to whether the books are accurate or intended to be accurate. The End of Nature nineteen eighty nine book by Bill McKibben our Angry Earth, A Ticking Ecological Bomb 1991 Isaac Asimov and Frederick Pohl book The Carbon War, Global Warming and the End of the Oil Era 1999 book by former oil geologist Jeremy Leggett The Discovery of Global Warming 2003 Spencer R. Wirt book Field Notes from a Catastrophe, Man, Nature, and Climate Change 2006 an Inconvenient Truth, The Planetary Emergency of Global Warming and What We Can Do About It is a 2006 book by Al Gore released in conjunction with the film An Inconvenient Truth. Based on Gore's lecture tour on the topic of global warming this book elaborates upon points offered in the film. It brings together leading-edge research from top scientists around the world, photographs, charts, and other illustrations, and personal anecdotes and observations to document the fast pace and wide scope of global warming. Six Degrees, Our Future on a Hotter Planet 2007 Book and National Geographic Channel Film Why We Disagree About Climate Change 2009 Requiem for a Species 2010 
Merchants of Doubt 2010. This Changes Everything 2014. Topic: Fiction. Topic: Theatre. The Contingency Plan 2009 by Steve Waters is a diptych of plays first performed at the Bush Theatre in London. They are set in the near future, at a time during which severe tidal surges begin to submerge parts of coastal Britain. Television <inaudible> 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 Years of Living Dangerously, nine-part 2014 Showtime documentary television series The World Set Free Cosmos, A Spacetime Odyssey, 2014 TV series episode South Park spoofed global warming in five episodes, two days before the day after tomorrow, spontaneous combustion, Goobax, Smug Alert, and Manbearpig. Star Trek – The Next Generation had two such global warming-themed episodes Episode, Deja Q, 1990 The crew suggests an artificial amplification of global warming using greenhouse gases to counter the cooling effects of dust from the impact of a moon on a planet. Episode, A Matter of Time, Season 5 EP 9 A passing cloud of dust from an asteroid causes global cooling on a planet. The crew of the Enterprise use a phaser to release frozen deposits of CO2 on the planet. The Inner Light. 1992 Jean Luc Picard lives a lifetime on a planet experiencing global warming and aridification. Ultimately, the climate change becomes serious enough to threaten all life on the planet. This Hugo Award winner is among the five most popular out of all 178 episodes in the TNG series. The 1987 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon has four episodes dealing with global warming. In Shredder's Mum, Shredder and Krang use a mirror fixed to a satellite to warm up the Earth if the political leaders do not surrender to them. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles get help from General Yoga to stop them. In Northern Lights Out, a man named Eric Red in Norway plans to melt the polar ice cap and flood all the coastal cities on the Earth by blowing up underground volcanoes, which will make it easy for Eric Red and his gang to take over the Earth. In a real snow job, set in the Alps in Austria, Krang and Shredder use a zoetropic wave device to melt the world's ice, flooding the coastal cities and making the Earth easy for Krang and Shredder to take over. In Too Hot to Handle, Vernon Fenwick's nephew Foster has an invention that brings the Earth closer to the Sun, a solar magnet. The 1980s Transformers animated series had at least one global warming themed episode, The Revenge of Bruticus. There, the Combaticons, a faction of the series' main villains, the Decepticons, created by rebel Decepticon Starscream, use the space bridge device to hurl Earth toward the Sun, hoping to destroy the Earth and all enemies. The Autobots are forced to help the humans endure the heat while putting aside their differences with the Decepticons in a race against time to restore Earth to its natural orbit. The TV series Utopia is a violent thriller about a fictional conspiracy that has a number of secret agents embedded in key places in government and industry. The conspiracy, known as the Network, seeks to frighten the populace into taking a vaccine which will, as a side effect, cause mass infertility. Their aim in doing so is to reduce the number of humans on the planet, in order to tackle climate change, resource shortages and other environmental issues. White Christmas Blues, episode of The Simpsons Comic books Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures from Archie Comics Set in their present 1980s, 1990s, but also including time travels to a future, in which New York City is flooded because of global warming and the greenhouse effect. <laughs> <laughs> Video games Civilization II is a strategy game released in 1996, in which the pollution created by industrial production and transportation, if left unchecked, leads to desertification. Fuel 2009 is a racing video game set in a post-apocalyptic world ravaged by extreme weather fueled by global warming. 
In 2008, the Tamatown website featured a game that taught children how to prevent global warming. Topic: See also Catastrophes in popular culture Climate fiction Media coverage of climate change <laughs>